Hello and welcome to the Billings Public Schools video tutorials. I've been doing a series of tutorials comparing iOS 6 and iOS 7 on the iPad and every time I do my tutorial my iPad that has been updated to iOS 7 has had the incorrect time. That's because when you do the iOS 7 or at least when we did our iOS 7 updates in my household the clock got back got set back an hour before our current time. So I keep thinking I'm going to show people how to change their time. Well, now's the tutorial that I'm going to show you that. So let's go into our settings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and tap on settings. And then that's going to pop me over on the left hand side. I want to actually tap on general, which is already set. And you can see I've actually even scrolled to where I need to be. But let me show you how I got there. So when you tap on general, it looks like this, but if you take your finger and you scroll down on that right hand side, you're going to see date and time. You're want, going to want to tap on date and time, and then notice it says set automatically, and then the time zone just sits there and spins. Well, what we need to do is we need to change the time zone to be accurate. So I'm gonna turn set automatically off, and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to tap my finger on this on off button. When I do that, then I can see, well, wait a minute, the time zone is set to Cupertino and my time zone is Denver. So I'm going to clear out Cupertino by tapping on this clear button or the X and then I'm going to type Denver. I will select Denver. And notice now, instead of it being 724, it is 824. And now I can go ahead and jump back to that set automatically. Tap my finger there to turn that on. And ta-da, my time is now set correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and tap back to my general and tap my home button. And now all my calendar events and everything that it has anything um, that's connected to the correct time will work properly. 